Hey guys, welcome back to my channel um, or welcome if this is your first time here and stopping in but thank you for hitting that play button and checking out this video I appreciate it so much um, but before we hop into the video and I give you the details about what I'm doing what I'm talking about um, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and turn those notifications on so you do not miss an upload <laughs> I'm pretty much consistently inconsistent but I am usually here at least a good four times a month so whenever that is that's when I'm here you'll get at least four videos from me of the month um, so make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel um, also check Check out my earring line these particular ones actually aren't on the site yet but they will be up there really really soon um, so make sure you guys go check that out I will have the link for that down in the description box as well also if you haven't already please make sure you guys check out my ebook it is really really good I took a lot of time and thought into it and it's only $2.99 so make sure you guys check those two out down in the description box as well as long as all the other items that I have available on the site and new products and um, items coming soon. Um, so for this video, I am finally, um, I'm about a year behind on this launch, but a new product launched this year as well. And I am finally trying it out. I didn't have the money last year to try it out. So I didn't try it out last year when this brand first launched and it is the melanin hair care <clears throat> line by fellow youtuber natural 85 if you guys do not know who natural 85 is better known as Whitney I don't know what Rocky Lim under she's pretty much a natural hair OG especially DIY natural hair OG um, but she came out with a product line last year and these were the first two items that launched like I said I didn't have the money to buy it then um, so when she came out with her newest product which was the leave-in conditioner this right here well it says multi-use softening leave-in conditioner so it's not you can use it for other things as well which I'll get into in a minute um, I was like, yeah, I just got to get it. Because usually when I do my wash day, I'm usually pretty like, um, I like to stay within the brand. Um, so this came out and I'm just like, yeah, let's let's get this going. Um, so I have all three items that came in her, came in her launch. Um, pretty much if you guys want to see anything about the twist elongating cream and the oils separately, check out some of a lot of the other YouTubers videos because a lot of them did do reviews on this last year. Um, but I am going to be talking about my experience with everything overall. Um, and I'm going to show you guys my demo of this wash and go that I did and just some things that I noticed. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to hop into the demo really, really quickly. And then I will be back with my thoughts on the line in general. So here's my hair. I'm starting off with freshly washed, deep conditioned hair with some of the leave-in conditioner already in. And I just put this plastic cap on just so that my hair doesn't dry out before I start working on it. So this is my hair. It looks so super just, I love the shine that um, this leave-in conditioner gave me. And my hair feels so soft. But I'm going in and just re my hair so that it is nice and wet and then I'm going in with a little bit more of the leave-in conditioner and applying that to my hair first um, just to add a little bit more moisture to it. I just love how it melts into my hair and then I go in with the twist elongating style cream and I'm just pretty much smoothing and breaking that through my hair and just making sure everything is nice and detangled. I did not use any combs or anything and then I went in with the multi-use hair oil and applying that to seal everything in and I'm just going to show you one more time in the front because I'm pretty much doing the same steps all over.
part and I'm gonna put a bobby pin there because that's kind of where I have some flyaways sometimes. So I'm just gonna apply that and just kind of re-wet my hair so that my curls like pop a little bit more. And as you guys can see, like I have a lot of definition, but not as much as if I would have shingled my hair. But this is good for like that effortless kind of wash and go. So this is the next day and I let my I sat under the hooded dryer like I said before and I banded my hair after that um, and I'm just gonna take the bands out um, very carefully. I did apply some oil to my hand to fluff out each section. I'm just gonna shake it out and just work with it that way. Yeah, I will be back after I take them all out. Okay, so this is my completed hair after I banded my hair and slept overnight. This is how my hair looks stretched. Um, my hair does feel so, so, so soft. Um, my curls, there are, they're not as defined as, um, I guess, other people's videos. But then again, you guys know I'm not big on like defined wash and goes. I'm kind of more on the, the volume side of wash and goes. Um, but I also banded my hair which is something I haven't done in a long time. And um, I usually stretch my hair with my blow dryer, which me doing this reminding me why I prefer to do that is because I feel like I get these little dents from the bands. I don't even know if I'm doing them that tight, but I only use four, I mean, two bands per section. Um, so I feel like maybe I'm doing it too tight and I always have these little dents, but they usually work themselves out for the most part. Um, like, I don't know if you guys can tell, like you guys can see like this little wave thing going on here. It's a little dense, but you can see my coils on the end are really defined on the end. So that's nice. So I kind of know like when I use my blow dryer, it'll be even kind of, I guess, more defined, but I'm, I'm more for the volume right now um, or always. So I don't mind um, the lack of definition, so to speak. Plus I did my hair outside of the shower, which is how I usually do my hair. So my hair is never you guys can take a look at my history of my wash and go videos. It's usually not very defined unless I'm using a gel. If I'm doing a no gel wash and go, this is kinda kinda it usually. Like, like so soft. I, I like love how it actually feels. Um, I feel like with the note, my with my technique of how I usually do my hair, I kinda did my hair the way she does her hair. She does the LCO method and she kinda just moves the product through and re-wets her hair and all that kind of stuff. I feel like when I do no gel wash and goes, I have to do the shingling method if I want very defined curls, which I did not do. Um, but then again, I was going for volume, not definition. So I didn't want to do all that and I really just didn't have the time. But I may go back and try it next time and do the shingling method with um, the styling cream. But with the leave-in conditioner, I really, 
<clears throat> Overall, I like all the products. The leave-in conditioner, I really, really, really like because I feel like it like literally melted in my hair. Like applying all of these, there was no white residue. There was no like nothing. It was I may try it out later down as a deep conditioner, but I really, really like it a lot. This leave-in conditioner is bomb. Like bomb. I like. Like, I feel like this will be good with like a leave-in and a, like if you just want to do a leave-in and a gel, I feel like this is one of those leave-in conditioners that can do that. Just my opinion. Like, definitely bomb. I'm def definitely like that and it's, it's just bomb. I love the leave-in conditioner, like grade A bomb leave-in conditioner. Next, I went in with the cream, which is the Twisty Long Getting Silent Cream. Again, I did a wash and go, obviously. Um, I love the consistency of this and you do not need a lot at all. Um, I barely put a dent in this, but I love the consistency of this. It's super thick. Like it's not, she not going nowhere. Like this is a really, really, really good. And you can use a lot. Like I didn't overpack my hair and I feel like no matter how much you use, your hair is still going to feel the same. So if you're a little heavy handed, I don't think it's going to affect you. Like it's not going to be like, oh, I use too much. Like I don't ever think you're going to have that feeling of like, dang, I think I use too much of a cream or if you use too little, I still feel like you're going to get the same results anyway. Um, so, you know, if you're a little goes a long way, but if you happen to be heavy handed like myself, I don't think it's going to affect your hair as opposed you know when you like use too much you can feel that you're not gonna feel that if it literally melted into my hair um so i love this as well i actually like it like i, I feel like i think it would be really great with a twist out i'm actually curious to try with a twist out and i think i'm gonna do that next so i might just, just stay tuned for that i might do that but i might <clears throat> Yeah, I, I might do that very soon. And then next we have the Melanin Multi-Use Pure Oil Blend. I like this oil. It's really nice. It's not greasy like I just had some on my hands and it's not greasy at all. I used it kind of like just to, you know, kind of, I don't want to say scrunch out the dents, but like smooth out the dents in my hair from when I had the bands, the ribbon ties in. Um, but I like it. It's super nice, gave it a lot, a nice little luster to my hair. It feels really good on the hair. Again, it really melts into the hairs. I feel like your hair is, you know, it's actually getting into your hair so that you're getting, getting the benefits of what's in the product. So I do really enjoy the oil as well. Now, as far as the way I applied it to me, um, I prefer the L and I, and I always do this to myself and I know I prefer the lock method but I always just sometimes just want to try it out and do it the way that everyone else says like do the LCO method I prefer the lock method my hair does feel soft but I feel like when I do the lock method like the LOC method my hair feels softer so I think the next thing I'm gonna that I'm going to use I'm gonna use the LCO method like I said my hair does feel soft but it, it doesn't feel like the Renell soft that I know and I know my hair is capable of. So I'm definitely gonna be trying the LOC method with these products. And I always do this to myself because even when I use like my other products, I'm like, let me try the LCO method. And I'm just like, it's soft and all, but I know it could be softer. So I think that that's the method that works for me. Also a note, this is not I think to the products is more of like what I me Renell. I think me doing the banding method does not want to say it doesn't work for me because obviously it does stretch my hair, but I feel like it takes away from the definition that my hair has than when I just stretch my hair with a blow dryer. So I don't really like doing the banding method that much anymore. Um, like I said, my hair looks good, it feels good, but I feel like it's better when I stretch it with a blow dryer. So I'm probably not, not I'm not gonna do the banding method again because some bombs we don't really have time. Now I will say my hair dried super fast with these products. I don't know if it's because I didn't use it, probably because I didn't use a gel, but I feel like even with my other creams, I feel like I could I dried my hair in about 40 minutes. So I sat under the hooded dryer. For you guys who don't know, I didn't let my hair air dry. But I did sit under the hooded dryer for, I sat under there for an hour, but it was dry after about 40 minutes. But I'm just like, 
let me sit under here for an hour because I don't want to take any chances but definitely when I felt like up on here after about 40 minutes my hair was dry so my hair did dry pretty fast with the products again I think it's because I didn't use a gel um, I do think these products will work very good with a gel so that's gonna be coming like in the like when the one months start getting a little bit warmer I will come back and do it with a gel I'm gonna be using these products pretty consistently um like this might be my 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 for the next month i may strictly be using these products just so i can just get a full range of what i think of them especially for a twist out maybe a braid out i'm over braid out girl but i haven't done a braid out in a while i might do it on a braid out nonetheless i'm gonna be using them i'm actually really really happy i mean if you guys are like og naturals then you know when like you know Whitney's gonna come through for us like like dead serious like she you knew she was gonna come through like her recipe she'd be coming through and I didn't expect anything less than greatness so <laughs> if it was if it was not greatness guys I would have been highly disappointed and I probably wouldn't even have posted this video because I would have just been like I'm not gonna do her like this but if it was trash I probably wouldn't even have posted a video about it um, just because like she's Everything else she does is just greatness. I hope you guys enjoyed this real quick review slash demo. And definitely leave some comments down below of some hairstyles you want me to you using these products. Or if you have any, um, if you've tried some of these products with gels, let me know what gels worked for you down in the description box or suggestions of what gels I should try with this product and yeah that's it i will see you guys next time thank you so much for watching again make sure you hit that subscribe button if you enjoy videos like this and you want to see more and yeah bye